Welcome back to Hell to Authority. Now, if your phone's battery is dying or has already died, don't worry, you can usually replace it, even if more modern phones are designed in a way where it's more difficult to actually take them apart, mostly due to making them more water resistant by using a lot of adhesives and other parts. But okay, first and foremost, how can you even tell if your phone's battery needs replacing? Well, one of the easiest ways to see is to go into your phone's battery settings, which varies by the operating system you use, and it should usually display some kind of battery health metric to show you exactly, well, how healthy the battery is. And as you can expect, that can degrade over time, and especially if it's a faulty battery from the get-go, it can degrade much faster. And there are some telling signs if your battery is about to go. For example, maybe if you charge it all the way to 100%, but then that 100% depletes very, very quickly. Or maybe it doesn't even go down to zero. Maybe your phone just turns off when you're still at 50 or 30% reported battery. So those are the kind of usual signs that you need to replace a battery. So what are your options? Well, it really depends on who you got your phone from. People like Apple, for example, do offer a special Apple Care plan where you can get a battery replacement for free, though it can cost you quite a bit if you don't have it, and you can send it back for repairs. However, they have also started to offer some tools for people to do it themselves at home. However, they're still pretty stingy when it comes to using things like third-party batteries. So be wary about that if you want to save a buck by buying a new battery from someone who is an Apple. In terms of other phones, again, it really depends on who it is. Though iFixit are great when it comes to step-by-step -step teardowns of phones, so you can follow those videos to help disassemble your device and replace the battery. On top of also selling the parts themselves, along with the tools actually needed. Other phones, like for example the Fairphone, are made from the ground up to be very easily repairable, so they should be probably the least problematic out of all of them. But again, it really just depends on what model phone you have with batteries for pretty much every single one readily available online. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about getting your battery replaced in your phone. So if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to Help to Authority for more like this in the future.